Do you know that 52.5 million people over the age of 18 have been diagnosed with arthritis in America alone? With that alarming number, arthritis is becoming a concerning health condition. One form of arthritis called osteoarthritis results in the breakdown of hard tissue that covers the bone endings. Another type is an autoimmune disorder called rheumatoid arthritis. Arthritis can cause intense swelling and pain in the joints. One of the most susceptible joints is the knee. It's also the largest, responsible for supporting the weight of your entire body. So taking good care of it should be your top priority, regardless of your age. To help you fight this form of arthritis with ease and boost your knee joints flexibility, Bestie brings you seven easy to do exercises. Make them part of your daily routine and say goodbye to knee arthritis. Let's dive in. Number one, lunging hip flexor stretch. With a full range of motion in your joint, this pick will strengthen the knee supporting muscles. Strong muscles, in turn, will increase your knee's shock absorbing ability. Being a low impact gentle exercise, it'll increase the flexibility of your arthritic joint without overburdening it. To do it the correct way, start by kneeling on your left knee. Your foot has to be placed straight on the floor in front of you. Bend the right knee and lean forward. Stretch your left hip towards the floor as you lean. Now squeeze your butt to stretch your hip flexor to its maximum potential. Hold this position for about a minute, then switch the leg and repeat it. Keep increasing the repetitions gradually, but slowly. By stretching the hip muscle, quads, and glutes all at once, it'll help you fight arthritis with no special equipment. Number two, knee to chest stretch. With the sedentary lifestyle most of us have, it's important to give those back muscles a stretch too. A knee to chest stretch is a wonderful way to work the lower back muscles, which are often the neglected ones. It also helps in reducing stiffness, which is associated with spinal arthritis. By increasing the blood supply and nutrient flow to the lower body, knee to chest stretch can help your joint muscles positively. Here's how you can do it. First, with both legs extended, lie down on your back. Pull your right leg towards your chest. Keep the lower back pressed against the floor and left leg straight. Take the left leg back to the original position and repeat it with your right leg. You can choose to hold each leg near your chest for a minute. This exercise, along with working your lower back muscles, stretches hip and hamstrings too. Do this simple yet effective exercise to never have that lower back arthritis pain. Applying these little changes to your lifestyle can give you a long-term benefit. If you have arthritis, simple exercises should be coupled with sensible eating. Certain foods make you more susceptible to those joint pains and swelling. To know more about it, watch our video on 10 foods to avoid if you have arthritis. It's linked below. Now, moving on to the next one. Number three, leg raise. The leg raise is a basic exercise with a not so basic benefit as it strengthens your quadriceps. These are large muscles and can be found on the fronts of your thighs. They attach to your knee joints and provide you with stability, strength, as well as balance. To work these muscles, lie flat on your back. Make sure you choose a flat surface for this exercise. With your arms at your sides, bring both the legs together. Make sure your toes are pointing upwards. Tighten your leg muscles and lift both legs simultaneously. Keep the legs straight and the stomach muscles tight. Push your lower back down and lift your legs till they make a 90 degree angle with your body. Now, slowly lower them back to the original position. Repeat this exercise. Start with one set of four and climb your way up as you increase your stamina. If you want a variation of the simple leg raise that also targets glutes and abs, the next pick's for you. Number four, side leg raise. A side leg raise is very particular with the kind of muscle it targets. Muscles responsible for activities like walking, balancing, and lifting are grouped together as adductor muscles. By working out these muscles, side leg raises can give you relief from arthritis pain in the knee along with increasing the joint flexibility. So here's how you do it with the correct technique. Use a yoga mat or any flat surface and lie down on your left side. Tighten your core and keep your toes pointing outwards. Keep your right hand on your hip and use your left one to support your head. You can keep your left hand straight on the ground as well. Slowly lift your right leg, keeping your posture straight. Lift it till you feel a strain on your thigh muscle. Now, slowly lower the leg down. Do this a couple of times and then switch sides. 
This exercise will tone your hips, butt, and thighs along with helping the pelvic joints feel less rigid. Reduced fat and increased lean muscle mass will also be a bonus you'll get along with performing these exercises on a regular basis. Number 5. Leg Cross The good old leg cross is an underrated exercise. The best part about this is the ease with which you can make this part of your daily routine. A leg cross is an excellent way to improve knee motion and strength. It focuses on your knee joint and pumps in much needed flexibility. So let's learn and get in the formation. Slay this exercise and get that knee pain eliminated. All you have to do is contract your thighs and cross your ankles over each other. Sit this way and hold it for as long as you can. Pair it with a little meditation to fight back the knee arthritis and stress simultaneously. The bonus? Along with improving your posture, this simple exercise will also work your quadriceps the easy way. Pretty cool, right? Number 6. Elliptical Training This one is a low-impact cardiovascular exercise. By mimicking running or jogging, it increases the blood flow to your joints and relieves you from that arthritic knee pain. A cross trainer or elliptical trainer is used for this type of workout. Using a machine lets you increase the intensity of your workout as per your stamina in a stepwise manner. A cross trainer works your whole body, and it's a safer option than outdoor exercises. Number 7. Swimming If we started to count the benefits swimming has to offer, we'll probably end up making a documentary. If you haven't learned how to swim, trust us, you're missing out on so many health benefits it has to offer. Swimming is a full body exercise. Apart from being a fun activity, a good session will get your heart rate up and your stress level down. It also builds endurance and cardiovascular strength. By that, we mean a healthy heart with kick-ass muscle strength. Swimming uses water resistance, which helps to tone your muscles and improve coordination, balance, and posture. In case of conditions such as knee arthritis, it's a perfect low-impact therapy. So don't shy away from taking a dip even with those paining knees. Be assured that you'll come out of the pool feeling fresh and pain-free. Even though these exercises are carefully hand-picked for knee arthritis, it's always best to consult your physician before going ahead. Knee arthritis can make your joints sensitive and you may require medication. This is why you should be extra cautious about the exercises you pick. It's recommended to use a moist heat pack on your arthritic knee before exercising. Heat increases blood flow, in turn, decreases the stiffness of the joints. After exercising, if your doctor recommends, you can also use an ice pack on your sore knee to bring down any swelling. So, which exercise will you be making a part of your routine? Is it simple to do leg cross or lunging hip flexor stretch? Let us know in the comment section below! Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie! Wait! What kind of bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.